Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this cantilever beam with a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter and the concentrated load of 4 kN. So the length of the beam total length is 5 meter and uh, here the point load is acting at a distance of 3 meter from the left end and also from the right end it is 2 meter. So the total length of the beam is 5 meter. So, so first of all we have to find out the support reaction here at this point which will be RA and have the moment which will be MA and then we can find out the shear forces and bending moment diagrams for this beam. So to start with the support reaction first of all is the RA. So RA will be equal to the total load acting on the beam because it is the only support reaction that can take the load. So the total load acting on the beam is this one is 4 kN is a concentrated load plus distributed load which is 2 kN per meter and this is distributed over the length of 5 meter total length is 5 so meter meter will be cancelled so we got here 4 kN plus 2 into 5 is 10 kN so it, it is equal to if we add this to so we got here 14 kN so it means the total reaction at A point RA is equal to 14 kN. Now what will be the moment value MA here? So it's also very simple and easy. We know that moment is equal to the force into moment term. Force into perpendicular distance. So in this case moment at A point will be equal to the force into moment term. One force is creating the moment is the 4 kN which is acting here in this way it will create the moment at about point A so 4 kN is the load multiplying it with the moment arm so it is a perpendicular distance from this point up to A point which is 3 meter here this is the one moment and the second one is this load which creates a moment 2 kN per meter so 2 kN per meter multiplying it with the total length on which it is distributed which is 5 multiplying it with the moment arm this is the force and the moment arm this load will act at the center of the beam here because the total length of the beam is 5 meter it is distributed over the whole length 5 meter so at the center of the beam means it will act here from this left end to this load it will be 2.5 meter so 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 meter so this will load act at 2.5 meter from the left end so this is the moment arm force into moment arm we got the moment so by doing this, if we add uh, these values, we got here 12 plus here 25. So we got total of 37 kilonewton meter is the moment value here at this point, which is 37 kilonewton meter. So this is the way to find out the uh, support reaction RA and moment at A point. Now to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Here the moment was moment at A point was 37 and this support reaction was was 14 kN. Now we draw the here the reference lines for the shear force and for the bending moment diagram. These are the reference lines. So starting with the reference lines here with the shear force and then with the bending moment diagram so shear force will be represented in kilonewton and bending moment in the unit of kilonewton meter so now we know that this force starting with the shear force so these are the reference lines 0 0 and this load is acting in upper direction 14 kilonewton so it will we will bring this wheel line up to the 14 scale 14 kilonewton and then there is a shear force and then there is a shear force acting in the downward direction we see here that this load is acting in downward direction this uniformly distributed load this 2 kN per meter is acting in downward direction so but this is the interest point where this concentrated load acts so we will find out this load up to the value from this end to this point which is 3 meter so how so this a force is acting in downward direction so minus 2 multiply with 3 we got minus 6 so we will subtract this 14 minus 6 we got 8 plus 8 
because protein was acting in upward direction and minus 6 is acting in downward direction so we got plus 8 so it means here at this point it's our shear force here value is 8 and then again there is a concentrated load which is acting in downward direction 4 so 8 is plus and minus 4 is acting in downward direction we got plus 4 so again plus 4 here and then this load which is again distributed load 2 multiply 2 so minus 2 multiply 2 we got minus 4 so 4 is this plus 4 minus 4 we got 0 so it means the shear force will become 0 at this point so this is the shear force diagram for such kind of loading condition now to draw the bending moment diagram again these are the reference lines the value we know here at this point is 37 kilonewton meter here we see it at point A it is 37 kilonewton meter now how to find out the value at these points or at these points so we have to find out the area of this one this will be area A1 and this small area will be equal to A2 now the heights are known of this area which is 14 and 8 these are the heights and the base of this is 3 meter so we'll find the area of this A1 which is a trapezoid so in trapezoid the value can be found out by adding 14 plus 8 dividing by 2 multiplying it with the base which is 3 this is the way to find out the area of the trapezoid so we got here is 33 so it means 33 is the area A1 here so we will subtract this 37 from 33 so 37 was negative bending moment here in cantilever beam this is always negative bending moment plus 33 because area is acting in upward direction the shear force is positive shear force so we got here minus 4 kilonewton so it means minus 4 kilonewton meter is the value here at this point minus 4 kilonewton meter is the bending moment value at this point now the area of this small triangle the height is 4 we know that the height is 4 the base is 2 meter this is also known to us the base is 2 meter so this is a triangle so we will find the area of this A2 so triangle area is half base into height base is 2 meter height is 4 so 2 2 will be cancelled we got 4 but this is again positive so it will be plus so minus 4 from the last one plus 4 we got 0 so the bending moment value here at this point is equal to 0 which is a right option because at the free end there is no bending moment so this is the way how to find out the shear force in bending moment diagram for the cantilever beam with such loading condition hope you understand the basic principle and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video